What's up guys, it's Light Spiral here, and today I'm going to be showing you my TOA auto team. Um, for now, this is just going to be TOA normal, and I'll just do floor 99 because it's the closest to 100 you can get. Um, this will be a TOA hard auto team, and I might make a video on it proving that it can auto TOA hard, but you'll see I haven't um, gone far in TOA hard. I haven't spent the, I don't know, TOA hard's annoying, so I haven't finished it yet. Um, so I'll just show you in TOA normal 99 and I'll probably eventually show you guys in TOA hard whatever I get up to. I don't beat 100, but I'll show you the runes afterwards as well. Um, yeah, this team, it's nice just because like it's an auto team. It's not your fastest team in the world, but you can just whatever. If you don't feel like manualing TOA because it gets super annoying and tedious, you can just press play on this and then go do whatever, like watch a TV show or whatever you whatever you do in your free time. Um, and this team will win 90 99%. I mean, may, there's some boss stages that this team does not work great in, um, and you'll want to use different teams. But for non-boss stages, I think this will clear 1 through 99 on normal. And on hard, there's a couple stages it won't clear, um, that it might not clear. For example, like the Leo Vertiheel Spectra stage it might not work on, or the Ragdoll Leo stage, um, stuff like that it might not work on. But it should work on most other stuff. Um, yeah, it's not an insanely fast team. The only real damage you have is Beretta's Dots, Vero's dots. Um, in TOA normal, they're not insanely tanky, so you it doesn't take that long because you can actually do a little. Like Breon actually does a little bit of damage to these guys. There's no buff strippers, so when stuff like defense buff comes up, um, the other team's just gonna have defense buff. Attack buff, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, whatever stuff like that, you're there's not a lot you can do about it. And the only buff you have is attack buff from Chasun which is, for the most part, pretty useless, but better than nothing, I guess. So the way this team works and what the these guys are here for if you're trying to replace them, Vero, um, I'm sure most of you guys have it, so you're not going to need to replace it, but Vero's good because of the stun second skill and then the cleansing passive, as well as the dots help to speed it up a little bit, but it's not that much. So And then the HP leader skill is also nice, but you can use Beretta's leader too. Um, D or Briand is pretty nice here and pretty essential to make an auto team because he does the AoE attack break, which just helps a lot. But other than that, um, if one of your teammates does end up dying, Brian will revive them and even out the HP. So you'll revive with hopefully around like 80% health and then everyone will have 80%. And then Chasun can amuse and get everyone back up to 100. And that's the, like, the plan at least. But so Brian is pretty hard to replace. If you do want to replace him though, um, Reviver is your way to go. You will want a Reviver. Aria is super good, especially after the Succubus buff where none of their skills awaken sleeps. Um, her second or her third skill does an AoE sleep and speed or an AoE speed debuff and glancing hit, which is nice. And you could use Spectre in that spot, but the glancing hit really is helpful. As well as the first skill having the chance to sleep is nice. So Arya in TOA, at least in a TOA auto team like this, um, Arya is hands down better than Spectra. Um, all Spectra does better is damage, which you're not really going for if you're trying to just auto it. So that's what Arya is going to be doing. Beretta is there basically just for the dots, just to make these waves, just to kill these waves eventually. Um, so like Beretta replacements, whatever you have, Hemos, Thrain, whatever you got that does dots, you can do it instead of Beretta. Um, but Beretta is nice because he has turbulence, but you don't need turbulence on a, unless you're on the boss floors really. So that's Beretta. And then the last one here is Chasun, who's just your healer. Um, if one guy goes super low, she can use her Fallen Blossom so you don't have to waste your revive. And then if you do end up using your revive, or even if you don't, she has a Muse, which will heal you up by like 20% of her HP. So it does work pretty pretty nice. Um, so you'll see this. I don't know, this team will win eventually. 
Um, this might not be the best example of Florida to do it on because I just realized that these, um, what are these called? Dracos do immunity, and I don't have any buff stripper on this team. So we'll have to wait until they all take two turns. But um, that's fine because you'll, whatever, you'll see that this team can auto floor 99 normal. And um, this is the Lyrith boss rotation because on the guy boss rotation, this would have been the Leo Verd Spectra stage. Which is one of the stages where I said I don't know if it can win. On TOA Normal, I'm pretty sure this team could win with my current runes. But on TOA Hard, I can't guarantee that this is going to be a winner for you. So, right here, I actually have two guys that are coming pretty close to dying. But Chasun should have her Muse back up right now. So, if she uses that, or she chooses to fawn Blossoms instead. So, if Beretta dies, it'll be okay. But Beretta doesn't die anyways. I was going to say, if he dies, it's okay, because Brienne will revive, and then they'll all be at 80% again. So this stage, actually, I can see where it's a little tricky, because there's four guys that do an AoE defense break that always lands as a crushing hit. So, yeah, I can see where it's a little tricky, actually, as well as they all get attack buff from the Aquila, and it takes forever to kill them because they get immunity and you can't strip it. But you'll see, it's still going to work. Um, Beretta was just about to die, but... He got Fallen Blossomed, so that's pretty nice. Um, you could use Bella instead of Chasun, but the Chasun's just amazing because of the Fallen Blossoms. Like, you, you just saw, she, Beretta was, like, a tap away from dying, and then he just got healed back to full, so it's it's pretty nice. So this team's not farmable by any means. Um, Bereond and Chasun are going to be ones you'll just have to try and summon, and if you didn't get the Arya Hall of Heroes then yeah good luck getting her um <laughs> that's gonna be a very very tough but a lot of people do have Arya just because she's had two hall of heroes now but people that weren't around during either of those hall of heroes are just fresh out of luck I would, i'd have to say in terms of this particular toa auto team um there's other toa auto teams out there but this is the team that i use and i'm working on TOA hard right now. If I get up to a higher stage, I'll show you guys this team autoing TOA hard. But I figure nobody cares to watch a team that can auto TOA hard 58. Um, I feel like that's too low. So if you guys want to see it, you can mention that in the comments. I'll show you the runes whenever this run does finally end. Um, and that'll kind of be it for this video. So this will be over in any time now. Yeah, whenever these guys get their turns off, it'll be over. Or they don't even need to get their turns off, they'll just die. So that is the run. I'll show you the runes really quick. And I'll just tell you what you should note if you're trying to make these. Um, just note that he's max skilled. Um, he's got above 45 accuracy, which is the accuracy cap for TOA. And he's fast and tanky. So note those. Here's Briand. Um, note that he's on Despair, Revenge. Um, re the reason I say Revenge is because if he revenges, he has a chance to Despair. Uh, his third skill is maxed. Um, it'd be preferable if you got all the max, but his, just his third is maxed for me. He's got max accuracy. He's a little fast, and he's pretty tanky. My Arya is not ruined great, but max skilled third skill, which is important. Um, despair, Revenge is preferred, but I don't have it. Um, note the accuracy, speed, and how tanky it is. And then we've got Beretta, who's on Despair, which is good. Revenge is preferred, though. Um, not max skilled at all, which is, you'd want it max skilled, but it's got max accuracy. It's fast and tanky. And then the last monster, Chasun, does not have accuracy, actually. But it's on Violent, the heals are maxed, and then it's fast and tanky. So that's all you really need to look out for on these guys. Um, but that's all I have for today's video, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop it in the comments. If there's any other videos you want to see, you could also tell me in the comments. But that's really all I have for today, though, guys. So may the best year of today's be the worst year of tomorrow's.